Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and this is the August 2016 pickups video. You know, last time I did a pickups video, I said, oh, I'm not gonna get that much in the month of August. <laughs> not at all what happened. Um, so there was various things that were bought. Um, so let's go ahead and start with a particular purchase that I made here. So, I bought a good old PlayStation 3. Now, why would I do that? Didn't you already have a PlayStation 3, Dow Phoenix? Yes, I do. But it's used for my entertainment center in the living room, and I wanted one that I could use for my personal game station. So, first of all, this bundle with the PlayStation 3 came with DJ Hero and DJ Hero 2, as well as the turntable. Turntable? What, what the hell am I even saying? Turntable. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, everything works great. I used to have DJ here a long time ago, um, and I got rid of it because I didn't play it anymore, but you know what? It's been a little bit since I got rid of it. I might check it out again. I got several other games with it as well. The Last of Us. Which, uh, this is a game that everybody loves. You know what? For some reason, something really irked me about this game when I played it. I need to give it a second chance and I don't really care to pay like the 20 or whatever dollars the PS4 version is. I, I'm fine with the PS3 graphics. Infamous, which I already own, so this is copy number two. This will be trade bait or sell bait or something, you know. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V, which will also be trade bait or sell bait because I own a digital copy of it for the PS3, so what's the point of keeping it physically? Michael Jackson, The Experience. Yes, this is a PlayStation Move game. The person in particular that sold me the PS3 gave me a really good deal, but there was a caveat. Uh, he still has not given me the Move controller for it yet. Which, speaking of which, we also have Sports Challenge or Sports Champions, whatever, yeah. This was like the Move's equivalent of Wii Sports. Uh, then we have Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Which, uh, everybody knows Transformers, right? I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I don't really want to grocery list this, but I got a lot of stuff, and, you know, I just want to really show you guys everything, you know. But, I've already got Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark, so I might as well start collecting Transformers games. It seems like, inadvertently, I'm starting on that path to begin with. And Green Lantern Rise of the Manhunters. So, those are the games I got from that particular lot. Uh, we did get PS3 games from another person which they weren't really the best selection of games, but you know what, I was like, screw it. Um, he had uh, Minecraft, and I, that's one of the reasons why I wanted that lot, lot is because I figured, well, shoot, I've already got Minecraft on the Wii U, but that'd be good trader cell bait. Um, but unfortunately, instead of getting that, I got uh, another copy of Killzone 2, so I got a second copy of Killzone 2, but I was able to get him down uh, $5 in the price in, in exchange. So first of all, Let's go ahead and get the sports titles out of the way, because I don't think anybody's going to care about them. I really have no interest in keeping these. But I don't know what exactly I'll do with them, because they're just not worth anything, really. Uh, so we've got uh, MLB 08, the show. You know, I'll probably see if there's any friends or family that want uh, any of these games. And if not, then I'll just... I don't know, I'll figure something out. I guess I could use the actual cases for some of my uh, games that I got for a dollar. that don't have actual cases, and I could print cover art. Uh, we got Madden NFL 10. And we also got NCAA Football 12. I think this was actually the last NCAA football game they ever made, so... I don't know. I don't know if that's going to make a difference in pricing or not, because sports games are really weird. Sometimes they're pricing. They're either, like, the cheapest games or the most expensive. It doesn't even make sense. Like, uh, I was just using... My Mega EverDrive, my, my, you know, my EverDrive MD, I downloaded the 32X ROMs, and World Series Baseball on there, for some reason, is the second most expensive game for the 32X. It's stupid. <laughs> Alright, so we got those out of the way. I already showed you body count, I think. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe I didn't. Whoops. Throwing it around. But anyways, body count. Uh, nice little arcade FPS game. Supposedly, it's supposed to be, like, black, except crappier. Uh, we'll find out, and we'll actually compare those, because you'll see. Uh, then we've got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Might as well add to my COD collection. I've only got two COD games, so I've got a third one now. 
Modern Warfare 3 is actually one of my favorites. This game really gets a lot of flack, I think, unfairly. Um, in my opinion, it's got the most balanced multiplayer mode. And the campaign's pretty nice, too. I like this one better than Modern Warfare 2, for sure. Which, I'm probably in the minority on that one, because everybody loves Modern Warfare 2, pretty much. Um, then I got my second copy of Killzone 2. Like I said, this is uh, the one that I got instead of Minecraft. But, like I said, I was also able to get them to go down in price by 5 bucks. Uh, Bioshock 2. So, we got Bioshock 2. The crappy Bioshock game, right? But, I don't know. It's not bad. It's just... It's not good, either. It's like, eh. And then, Bionic Commando. This is a game a lot of people hate. I had it on the 360 and enjoy the hell out of it. So, I might as well check out the PS3 version. I've got it on PC also, so... Nice stuff, indeed. Okay. So, now, let's go ahead and skip ahead to some of the new video games that I've gotten this month. Actually, I'm not sure if I covered this one in the last pickups video. I don't remember. I'll just briefly touch on it, if I did. Uh, Breach and Clear Deadline. I don't think I actually had this one in the last pickups video. But this is one of those limited run games, which is basically um, the indie games and whatnot that they do physical copies of, and these are really limited edition. So this was nice to have. Um, and then we've also got Tearaway Unfolded Crafted Edition. I uh, actually bought two copies of this, but I sold one of them. Because I started to get into game trading. I'm starting to do game trading, buying, selling, and trading, and whatnot. Um, and uh, I happened to find two copies of this on clearance at Walmart for five bucks. Um, I sold the second copy I got on Amazon. Got a little bit of profit off of it. And uh, yeah, I've got myself a copy. The profit was fortunately just enough to pay for this copy. So that was nice. Okay, and then we've also got Assassin's Creed Chronicles. This is still in the straight because I haven't got around to playing it yet. But, um, yeah, Assassin's Creed Chronicles. This is basically the indie Assassin's Creed, you know, the downloadable ones that are, like, side-scrolling and stuff like that. That's what actually interests me about it, because that's a different kind of gameplay style. Um, and then this game, I think everybody probably knew I got this one. Uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I'm really enjoying it so far. Unfortunately, Square Enus, you know... Enus? Enus! Square Enus! <laughs> Square Enix are a bunch of retards when it comes to how to add microtransactions and things like that at the very last second. But, yeah, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Um, we did get a couple Wii U games. Wii U, Wii U, Wii U! And let's go ahead and check those out. So we've got The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. This is now a Nintendo Selects. I've been wanting this game for a long time, but I, but with the Wii U games, man, they're just crazy on the price. It's like, this is a remaster of a game that's 13 years old. I'm not paying 50 bucks for it. So Nintendo was like, okay, we'll sell it to you for 20. And then Amazon's like, we'll give you 20% off, so you only have to pay 16. So I'm like, hells to the yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> and then got this one for a nice price. It was on clearance at one of the local Walmarts where... Markdown or whatever. The Wonderful 101. Uh, this game is supposed to be pretty good. It's like one of the reasons to own a Wii U I've, hear, I've heard. And I've heard some people say yeah, it's, it's crappy. I don't know. But it looks interesting. I really like the animation and design of the game. And it's Platinum Games. I mean, Platinum typically does good stuff. I mean, not always. But <laughs> we'll see how they do this time. So... Um, I did pick up a few games from a woman, uh, on Facebook, and we'll go ahead and cover those real quick. That won't take very long, I don't think. So, let's go ahead and cover those. So we've got Animal Crossing City Folk, uh, for the Wii. Now, this game, unfortunately, is not worth a whole lot anymore because of the Nintendo Selects thing that's aforementioned. But I got such a great deal, I'm sure I can do something with it. Um, I've already got a copy of this for my wife. So this will be a trade or sell bait. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we also got some Atari 2600 cartridges, which I have not bought in... God, I don't know how long. <laughs> Jeez. So we've got Stargate, which is based on a classic arcade game. Nothing to do with the movie or TV show. Moon Patrol. Another game based on a classic arcade game, which... Uh, 
you know, you drive a little moon buggy around and whatnot. It, it, it's Atari, you know, these, these games are like super simple as hell. Uh, we got Jungle Hunt, which is kind of like the, eh, not Pitfall, but still good kind of game, you know, it's, it's not bad. Um, then we've got Real Sports Volleyball. Volleyball, people. It came with a lot. I would not have bought it individually. Uh, then the classic hacking game, Combat, which is actually a really fun little Atari game. I definitely recommend checking it out, and it's dirt cheap. I mean, if you're paying more than two bucks for this, you're getting ripped off. Okay, now there was some NES cartridges. Yes, NES, regular Nintendo, because I went to the Missouri Game Con, and I got a few games from that. Actually, hold on. Uh, something's missing here. Hold that thought a second. Okay, I'm back. Actually, we did get some NES games, and we also got a PlayStation game and a Dreamcast game. Let's go ahead and cover those real quick. Galaga Destination Earth. This is apparently a unique Galaga game for the PS1, which I'm a huge fan of the classic Galaga arcade. I also love Galaga Legions, and I had no idea that this game even existed, and I got a decent deal on it, so I was like, screw it, let's do it. Haven't bought a PlayStation game in a while. And now that I've got the PS3, maybe I'll start streaming some PS1 games. We'll see how that goes. And then for the Sega Dreamcast, we've got Feet of Fury. Oh yes, this is definitely going to be played, man, for sure. Um, actually, I don't know. <laughs> it's still a shrink wrap. I got this for $2. $2. I couldn't believe it, man. For a new in shrink wrap Dreamcast game, which is probably the most common indie game for the Dreamcast. I've heard that they pretty much give these away. But, you know what? That's awesome. I really appreciate it. I'm really not sure what to do with this. If I am going to go ahead and crack it open and, and whip it out or what? I don't know. Whip it out? Ha! <laughs> okay. And I got a few NES cartridges. Let's cover those real quick. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I mean, it's pretty much a essential game to have in your NES library. And I got a decent deal. This game's creeping up in price, and I'm like, no, nah, I don't want nothing to do with that. But I got it for 20 bucks, which is a little bit under the market value, so it wasn't too bad. And uh, we got Super Mario Brothers 3. I got an excellent deal on this one, dude. And this is obviously the best Mario game on the NES, without a doubt, dude. This game is just fantastic. Jeez. The only thing that sucks about this is it does not have the save feature that Super Mario All-Stars does. This is just a play start-to-finish game. And with how large this game is, if you don't use work wheels and stuff like that, it can take you quite a while to get through the whole game. But, you know what? Awesome game. If you've never played Mario 3, download a ROM and play it right now. Okay? Yes, I condone emulation. Especially in matters that are very vital and important, like you never having played Super Mario Bros. 3. You need to write that wrong. But probably get the Super Mario All-Stars version so you'll get slightly better graphics and, uh, you know, the save feature and whatnot. And, of course, another must-have classic for the NES, The Legend of Zelda. I don't, I don't forget what this... Da, 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 da. Or wait, that's a... Uh... That's so Korean time. Okay, moving on. <laughs> we get a couple of other NES cartridges. These were not from the convention. These were from an online website that I check out quite regularly now. It's an awesome website. I don't know if I should name drop it because I want to kind of keep it my little secrets. Uh, but these are some pretty sweet ass games right here, man. Super Games 151. This has 150 NES games in one cartridge. Yes. Fantastic stuff. Without a doubt. You know what? I'll, um, tell you where I did get this from. Uh, it's a site called... Which is kind of like eBay or Amazon. Uh, it's a different kind of site like that, I suppose. But, uh, you get some really good deals on this stuff. So check it out if you're interested in oddities like this. 
Um, also, we got Super Games 340 in one, which there's nobody that I've seen that actually properly review this on YouTube. So I'm probably going to be the first to do it, unless somebody watches this video and sees this cartridge and they're like, oh shit, I've got this cartridge. I'm going to review it before Down Phoenix gets to it. <laughs> in which case, I won't be the first. But you know what? I'm going to take a risk and assume that I'll still be the first. I've already got the video footage shot. I just got to get it edited and all that good stuff. Okay. So that does it for the NES games. Now here's the grand finale of what we got. Oh yes, this is the grand finale. And uh, for some reason, some of these games are misplaced. So hold on a second, people. Okay. Now the moment you all have been waiting for. This... I've got not one, but two OG Xboxes. Yes, yes, I bought a lot off of some guy on Facebook. Got a killer deal on these systems. They work pretty good. Uh, one of them does have problems with the disk drive, but um, it still works. Otherwise, everything boots up and whatnot. And here's another thing as well. This one has a built-in screen. Now, the screen itself works fine. There is apparently a little bit of interference, and I'll have to figure out what's going on there. If maybe the power supply I'm using or whatever just doesn't work that well with it or what. But it's awesome to have this, and I'm not sure what exactly I'll do with it, but it's just awesome. Aw, oh, man. And because of that, I decided to start collecting again for the original Xbox. But before I show those, I did need to show up the uh, one 360 game I've got, which is also the one $1 game I've got. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. Might as well since I got the first one. And, uh, yeah, 99 cents, dude. These games are starting to dry up at the GameStop. And, uh, man, it's like nothing with sports titles now. I was surprised to find this one, honestly, because everything... That was a dollar previously has crept up to like two or three bucks, you know, so But yeah, if you're still if you if anybody out there is still doing the one dollar GameStop challenge There are still some games out there that aren't sports titles. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and show the original Xbox games that I got and a bunch of cartridges and whatnot fall over, right? So this came with the Xboxes and with how bad the case was in I'm sure that one of the Xboxes was probably like sitting on top of it or something uh, but uh, it's Nanco Museum for the original Xbox, and this game was in really rough shape. Um, probably gonna have to get it buffed out. It barely works, honestly. But not surprised with the case condition and whatnot. Okay, and then we also got Burnout 3 Takedown. Good old classic Burnout. This is one of the best racing type games for the sixth gen consoles. And uh, part of the reason is because it's nice and destructible and has a lot of modes and such. And with those Xboxes, I plan on doing something called a soft mod, which allows you to run homebrew and emulation and streaming media and so on. So, because of that, you obviously have to get a copy of Splinter Cell, which yes, this is the Platinum Hits case, but... As you see, it's the regular OG Splinter Cell disc, so this is perfect for the soft modding. I'm all set. The only problem I have now is I need to get a USB flash drive that's compatible with it. Everything else is fine and all set, um, but otherwise we're good to go. Uh, so speaking of body counts, look at what I picked up. Black for the original Xbox. Like I said, these are supposed to be similar kinds of games. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Uh, but for some reason, an idiot, whoever owned this game, uh, guess they let some paper be wet on it, and it dried off, and yeah. I don't want to risk scratching up the other side of the disc by trying to remove it, so it is what it is. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, which is brought to you unbelievably in 720p hd resolution holy crap i don't know if you guys can see that from the camera but that is just insane that they had hd video games back in 2002 2003 whenever this came out i just couldn't fathom that dude that's crazy uh then we got pirates of the caribbean 
which apparently is nothing to do with the movie, but is tied to the movie in some way because, as you can see, free movie ticket inside, as it says on the box there, which that's just ridiculous. Um, but this game looks really cool. It's like an open-world pirate game, and it's got mediocre reviews, so maybe we'll find out one of these days why that is. And finally, Crimson Skies, High Road to Revenge. This is a must-own game for the original Xbox because, believe it or not, there is a lot of good exclusive titles on the original Xbox. And I think people are starting to realize that because, I mean, the prices are super low, so people are just buying these games. Um, at least the collectors that are on the end, like me, are buying them. The average Joes, they don't have any clue about this original Xbox crap, so they're not in on it. But, you know, one of these days, people are going to figure it out, and the original Xbox prices are going to start creeping up, so now is a good time to get into it, which, obviously, getting into it is, by association, creating another buyer, which will, of course, inflate the market and things like that, so... I don't know, maybe you guys shouldn't get into original Xbox. Don't get into it at all, so I can collect cheap. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to uh, share this video if you enjoyed the content, of course, and... You know what to do. Uh, but till then, down Phoenix out.